You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 325th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And I'm looking forward to this episode. I knew you were going to say that. This is a special <laughs> master's edition hey, of Potty Talk Live here. I know. All excited. right, we have some master business plumbing owners, we plumbing do. business owners joining us here. Mm -hmm. All right, and mm -hmm. we're going to be talking uh, about a little thing called uh, your honest hourly rate. Your All fake right. hourly rate? Not your fake. Or your lying. Your lying, right? <laughs> your lying hourly rate? No, your honest hourly honest. rate. Honest. Hey, Kathy. All right, so they're going to be joining us. All <laughs> yes, right, we're here excited. just uh, shortly. Our, our first master's edition. This is the first master's edition. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. so welcome. All yes. right. And thank you, Shelby, for throwing that up there. Sign up for text messages from the Million Dollar Plumber. Make sure you never miss an episode of Potty Talk Live. That's right, and it's good Type to have text, you here. Text in the comments. All right. And you'll get a text when we go live. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Housekeeping. And again, it's good mm -hmm. to have you here. Mm -hmm. If you're joining us live, you know what to do. Type live. Okay, live in the comments. Let us know that you're you're joined us part of the live social audience here. Okay, and get your questions ready here because we yes. got masters here. We do. Okay, and I'll For explain here in just a owners. moment. Yes, okay. get your questions ready. Hey, if you're watching the replay, mm -hmm. type replay. Let us know you caught the replay. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Just keep on listening. All right. Betcha. Okay. Um, okay, Aaron is checking in live from San Marcos, Texas. The Mathis oh, yeah. and Silva family moving the... Moving the middle into Texas State University? Really? Huh. You're moving the whole business? All right. Okay, right. Huh. All right. Love to hear about Jim, that. Jim, live. Lowry Jim, Brothers Plumbing. Hey, you need this. Oh, Jim, well, listen yeah, up glad here. You're here. Okay. I love, we, mm -hmm. we got, got masters here. Now, these are guys. <laughs> You know, Johnny, lots of hey, Johnny, good to have you here. Mm -hmm. All right. Got some nuggets headed your way. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you know, we decided to do this, this master series. These are guys who have gone through the academy mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I've already gone through these kinds of things mm -hmm. that were a year ago or no more than two years ago, mm -hmm. you know, were guys all. all by, the, you know, they're in a truck struggling yep. and, 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 and now, yes, now had a desire, I had a desire, mm -hmm. to, you know, to learn these things, put these yes. things into practice. Mm -hmm. All right. And now they're, uh, you know, they're multi-truck, you know. Head on to multi million, million, million dollar plumbing, plumbing business. All, yeah, million dollar plumbers. Right. Hey, Bo. Okay. And yeah. so we thought, we know we talk about these kinds of things, and we mm -hmm. hear, we kind of get this feeling, well, yeah, hey, you've been Tanner. doing this for 30 years, and we, you know, all that. Well, I wanted to get some guys that are just like, you know, recently are yes. going through this kind of stuff. Yes. Are okay. still feeling the, the blumps and bruises. Right. You know? Okay. Um, so, um, hey, Amanda. Hello from um, Castile Plumbing. Nice to have you on. Yeah. So, yeah, we're excited to... Yeah, I can't wait on. to bring bring these cats on. Yes, but okay. we do have a question. Do, do you we have not? a question? We do have a question. I do believe well, we Well, we're do. going to be talking about what Someone we, what we call Hi, your honest hourly rate, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to be going over that. So Johnny our was. question is, how did you determine your hourly rate? How did you determine... Okay, be honest. We're, 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 we're kind of, you know, we're gang here. We're, we're family, okay? <laughs> All right, we're brothers. <laughs> this is a All right, so, space. okay, but... <laughs> so <laughs> it's okay to be transparent. Hey, Quite frankly, we, we've all made the dumb mistakes yes in fact so, i'm going to say stupid i know i can hear it. you're not supposed to say stupid stupid not nice mr bainey but <laughs> guys not knowing what you're hey, charging Stephanie. or what you're charging for and why you're charging what you're charging is stupid mm -hmm. okay it's one of it's it's probably one of the main reasons why why you know your plumbing business is struggling yep. okay why you just can't seem to get hey, ahead Nikki. That's okay. right. All right. I mean, these guys all went through this. And all right. All went okay. It. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're going to talk about that. Yes, Timothy okay. says hi from Litchfield, Connecticut. Welcome, Timothy. Connecticut. All right. So, what is, uh, how did you determine your hourly rate? Yes, how did you determine it? Did you? Okay. Yeah, my, my favorite methods here. Look, we all we all oh. did one of these three. Okay. Wait, I love Surprise, Arizona. Live from Surprise, Arizona. That's I just fun. I love that that's the name the of the The Family town. Plumber. Family Plumber. All right. Okay, fun nice name. Nice to have you. All right. Okay, yes. One of but, three. Okay, we, so we start our plumbing business, and we, we carry, and I don't know if we'll be able to go this deep. Well, we may, it may come up or whatever, but we do carry a lot of baggage, and usually the baggage is, um, you know, I don't want to charge what those big companies are charging. I don't want to They're rip ripping people off. People off. <laughs> or really what's happening deep down inside, I'm not worth that. Mm. Guys, it's a, it's a hard thing for guys to admit. We're, mm -hmm. we're a proud bunch. 
but mm-hmm. there, there is that. Mm-hmm. But we get out there and we think, well, I'm just going to charge this. Mm-hmm. Or if I, I know Wait, oh, what, what I, right. Finger in the. Put the finger, yeah, right, finger in do the that. air. Yeah. Check okay. the breeze. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. And and that's kind of how we figure it. Mm-hmm. Or we just kind or of, what kind of cars they have in the garage? What kind of what kind of right? <laughs> what kind of determines right. almost? Exactly. Bo is almost a master. Yes. Bo McKenzie. No, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's about. He's there. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's, At, well, he just right. um, went to module twelve. Yeah. Full speed plumbing. There we go. Um, live from El El Dorado, Kansas. Kansas. Just started his plumbing business. Welcome, six, Dylan. <gasps> Dylan, you're in the Listen exact up, right brother. spot. Listen you up, brother. Listen up here. In the exact right spot. Okay, yes. be uh, with, with an open mind here. We're going to bring mm-hmm. some cats on here mm-hmm. that were just where you were. In fact, one of the guys here that we're going to bring on this time last year. He was just starting. Uh, just starting. Really Officially, just starting. Yeah. Officially just starting. Mm-hmm. And in debt and that kind of thing. And now he's, oh, we'll let him tell. I'll let him. Yeah, he's got quite the story. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it really stems from a couple things. Mm-hmm. I imagine they'll say something like, we, pre, we, we hear a lot of nice things saying well they give it to credit to the system mm-hmm. the million dollar plumber the, system that mm-hmm. kind of stuff Academy. okay which which is you know you like. can work on these kinds of things mm-hmm. but what i love about these guys and the guys that go through here um is that they do it they just did it you know i i kind of use the example of like uh you're in the ring so i'm like a manager so i, I can tell you you know i'm, I'm outside the ring though mm-hmm. <laughs> you know i'm saying hey watch out for the right watch out you're <laughs> and when you come back and sit down you know, i'm telling you what are you thinking man what are you thinking <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep moving, Spit all right. In right, so that kind of thing. Cut but, me, Mick. But you're the one in the ring <laughs> taking the hits. What? Cut me, Mick. Cut me, Mick. <laughs> cut me, cut me, Mick. All right, all right. But you're the one in the ring. Mm-hmm. You're the one that's deciding when you get knocked down. Am I going to get back up? Right. You know, um, you're the one who's as, as things are happening. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Mm-hmm. And, and are, are you actually making it happen? Okay. At the same time that you're getting hit in the face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys all have those stories. Mm-hmm. That's what I like about it. Again, mm-hmm. that's why I'm excited about it. I'm excited to get them on. Let's get yeah. the, um, but, you know, we, we can say, series. well, it's been, we've been doing this for 30 years or we've been. So it's like it's easy for us or something. Which or it's we're not, far removed. We're far from removed from it. Right. Mm-hmm. But these guys are, are, are right there. Right. Still, and so, still in the thick of yeah. things, but, but um, figuring their way out or yeah. pushing, pulling their way out, grinding. Yeah. Yes. Right? So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's. You want to ready to bring let's them further on? ado. Let's bring on our masters. Let's bring our masters on. Hit it. So there we go. Look. Look at. <laughs> look at these. Look at this guys. wild bunch. Hey, everybody, the wild say bunch. hi to these masters. All right. <laughs> hey, in the top here we have uh, Craig Fox. Craig Fox is founder and owner of Craig Fox Plumbing, mm-hmm. out of Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. All right. Mm-hmm. Then, then we have uh, we have Lance Ball. Mr. Lance Ball down there, founder and owner of Aspen Mountain Plumbing Mm -hmm. out of Rock Springs, Wyoming. Rock Springs, Wyoming. All right. And finally, yeah, all of God's country. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have Mr. Matt Delnay, all right, founder and owner of Mountaineer Plumbing Mm -hmm. out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. So you can see we got it's all spread out here. So we when we hear the stories here and all that, we got we got New York, mm-hmm. we got you know middle of the country, you know it's East Coast, middle of the country, mm-hmm. and West over here. Got it all right. All. So we got them all spread out. So hey guys, it's great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Mm-hmm. It's good to be here. Thanks. Thanks for having us. All good right, guys. Up, Thank guys. you. All right. Well, welcome. Okay. Well, let's get at it here. So we're talking honest hourly rate. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> who wants to be the first? To kind of to uh, say what your hourly rate was and how did you determine it? Kind of. Are we actually going to give an actual amount or? Well, yeah. Why not? Get, right. You guys mind being transparent and okay. say what your? Let's do it. Lay, lay your sure. cards on the yeah. table. Yeah, I mean, I, mm-hmm. yeah. go ahead. Hear it, Craig. Yeah. All right. I mean, when I first started uh, with my honest hour, well, no, I mean my hourly rate. I, I just picked what I was, what I saw, what I mimicked the, what the company was before. Mm-hmm. So it was one hundred and twenty-five dollars, but I put a twist on it. Because it would look better with my customer's invoice, so I made it one nineteen. Oh, <laughs> that was perfect yeah, for me. I I it had to be. Because yeah. yeah, if I worked for eight hours at a customer's house, it was almost a paycheck. Mm. And I incorporated that to what I thought would you know a paycheck for working as an employee. All right. Okay. I like that. Made it yeah. one nineteen. Mm-hmm. Not too high. Yeah, because it was not easier too to digest. <laughs> not one twenty five. It makes yeah, sense. Uh, right. <laughs> I love it. All right, Lance. <laughs> I was on the cheap end. I was 75 bucks an hour. 75 bucks yeah. an hour. Mm-hmm. And I just, I didn't really know what to charge. So I kind of called around and said, what are you charging? What are you charging? What are you charging? 
And then I just picked a number in the middle and went with that. Yep. He did, he did the, yep, <laughs> follow the herd. <laughs> yep. Right? That makes sense for Wyoming. Let's figure out what the follow herd's the herd. doing, and I'll mm-hmm. I'll pick one out and bag it. All right. way I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, Mr. Mountaineer. Mountaineer. Well, yeah, I uh, uh, my the company I worked for, they were charging eighty dollars an hour, and I thought I was worth a little bit more than that, so I was going to charge one hundred and twenty. Ooh. Okay, based on. Yeah. Based on because you're just better looking, or yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, they like the bald head. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, there's three. One of these things does not belong. Did you notice? Yeah. <laughs> I don't belong. You got these good looking guys. We we're talking about this. You know, the guys, the guys with thin hair, it's because they have a lot of t- testosterone. Testosterone? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're alpha males. Mm. So that's, you can see what I struggle with. <laughs> Just don't let that get out, though. Okay. Anyway. Right. Okay. That's, good. <laughs> that's good. So, you guys, so what was your experience? So, when you started and you were charging at hourly rate, what was life like? Hmm. Anybody Go ahead, Craig. Stressful. Oh, I mean, just to, I mean, b- b- just going through the calculator and just finding out what my honest hourly rate was first, right? Mm-hmm. That, that was thicker shock on my own face. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're so, talking about? Well, yeah. When, oh, yeah. You, when you went you started with the academy and you got the honest hourly rate calculator, right? But before you got oh, yeah. to that and got to what you're, oh, we're yeah. going to talk about that, I'm glad you're leaning that way because it is kind of sticker shock for all of us mm-hmm. when we get, actually go through the calculator and we think, ah, we'll get to that. Mm-hmm. But when you were charging, what were you charging? 119 an hour. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were. Oh, oh yeah. What was, what was like, how, oh, yeah. How, how was, uh, uh, I, were, you, were you making ends meet or how, how was life? Oh, no. No, I didn't understand. No, it was a struggle. It, where was it going? Why wasn't there enough? The number doesn't add up. I mean, it's supposed to be enough that I mean, mathematically and, and it, 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 it could barely pay for the materials and, mm. and the in the, 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 yeah. no, that didn't cover it at all. Right. Mm-hmm. It did it, it wasn't the right number. You think yeah. hundred nineteen dollars an hour is a lot of money. Right. Right. I mean, it feels like yeah. If, if you could. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If there, if you could account for the times where you were parked and waiting and getting mm-hmm. ready for and preparing for there's so much time that's involved that, that that i wasn't being paid mm-hmm. for that i was just working for free so you diminish your your 119 per hour now it's like 45 mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, at the end of all the hours you work it's like you're working making 45 dollars an hour mm-hmm. right okay. exactly what about you lance what was life like uh i was one step up from being homeless <laughs> uh, it was horrible. I couldn't even pay my parts places because I wasn't charging enough. And I mean, every week it was the same question. Are we even going to be able to have money f- to pay for ourselves to stay alive? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember those days? I do, we do remember those days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. So that's where you were. What about you, Matt? Not Del Nade. Well, I was, uh, it was very stressful because I was always giving customers discounts when I wasn't making money. So <laughs> my wife wanted to wring my neck and, you know, stop doing that. We need money here. And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not fun. It, you think, oh yeah, I can keep my expenses low and I can make that extra money, but you don't. That the ends, It doesn't add up at the end of the month. You push, you, you see the gross numbers. You say, oh yeah, I, I think I'm making money, but you're not. Your, your bank never grows. You, and you're never able to move forward. Right. Yep. So what was, we kind of, Craig brought us into this and started talking about this. We get into, all of you went into the, the Honest Hourly Rate Calculator, mm-hmm. you know, that we do in mm-hmm. the Academy. And so what surprised each of you when you went through the, when you went through the calculator? Mm-hmm. How did it hit you, Craig? You started it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I started it because it was a sticker shock when I found out what what it was. Well, how many hours you can actually bill for in a day? Because it's not really eight, like a straight like. Mm-hmm. And or right. well, I mean, I just well, first of all, I just felt like there's just no way people are going to say no. This is impossible. I, that was that was my first thought. Like, oh mm-hmm. great, I have to do it again. So it actually, yeah, I did it like <laughs> five times. I didn't do it just once. I was like, this got to be wrong. I'm like, oh, you know, the second time it got even more, and I got less. I'm like, this is this. Do I really need? Do I really need insurance? Do I really need retirement? Well, how much profit does it have to be? Do I? How much profit should? Do I even? You know, I was like, do I have to make a profit? Added? 
<laughs> oh, it was terrible. I was like, right. okay, and we finally got the numbers. I guess it's changing. The kids There's don't no... need clothes. Maybe the kids don't need clothes. <laughs> so I got a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I wrote on it that, that with with complete integrity. This is the number I need. This is the. I mean, with complete integrity. This is my honest hourly rate. I just wrote it across on a piece of paper, just mm. so I could read it and believe it. Wow. After do you, I saw it. Do yeah. you mind? So you were at one nineteen. Do you mind sharing what your your honest hourly rate wound up being? Come, coming yeah, out of that right, first process yeah, yeah it went up to 349 dollars guys so that, that does that does make you swallow don't doesn't it you know we all yeah. went through it who's gonna accept that what am i doing how how could we well, mm -hmm. we're these this many expenses you know it's just what right mm -hmm. so what about what about you lance uh i ended up being at 251 uh, which was a huge jump for me. And it was like from, from 85 or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. 70, 75. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, how the heck are anybody going to pay for this? This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. But just like Craig, I, I did it two or three times and I kept looking at things and I was like, you know, I don't know if I've ever even thought about the permits I have to get and added that into my calculations and what I have to charge for office material and things like that. I never had thought about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. All the expenses and that we I sort think of going. think. Oh, sorry. By sorry. serving the, we, we sort of think that we're we're helping the customer by s charging them less or saving them money or giving them the best deal. But in fact, we can't really help them when we have to go and warranty their work or have the better equipment to serve them for another service they really need. It, it doesn't really allow us to help them more that they really Correct. want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. yeah you. Won't, yeah. It may go out of business. I want to have a company to stand behind the warranties, right? Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. Yeah. What about um, what about you, Matt? Nine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I kept <laughs> trying good. to cut corners, cut 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 that hourly rate to keep it as low as I could. Uh, when I did that, I got up to one ninety five, and then I had this brilliant idea that I was going to charge one ninety five the first hour, and then jump down to one twenty five the following hours. And my wife looks at me. I'm so lucky I have the wife I have because she looks at me. She goes, <laughs> what? So we're going to be profitable the first hour. <laughs> And not any of the uh, other hours, and I'm like, "Ooh, yeah, that's stupid." So I, so and I told my guys that on the Monday morning meeting, I had to text them all. I said, "Never mind, <laughs> but don't do that, please. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm stupid." And uh, uh, that was humbling. And then as we progressed, I uh, we ended up being at 245, and then 295. Um, now we're at 320. Uh, because you start to learn, you need a charge for where you want to be and not where you are. You know? Yeah. Hashtag, and that's, sell that again, Matt. Say, say that again. That was a nugget of gold right mm -hmm. there. Yep. You got to charge for where you want to be, not where you are. And you'll get there so much quicker. Because you'll, you'll actually get yeah. there. Because if you don't do it, you'll never get there. You'll always be stuck in that same position over and over. And you'll be so frustrated and you'll burn yourself out and you'll sacrifice your life. Mm -hmm. And it's not worth it. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth it. So that that is great. So we but we st we still take we took this fear in. We all had this fear of there's no way <laughs> my customers here are going to pay that. There's no way. <laughs> so what happened when you started charging your honest hourly rate? Craig, we'll start with you. We'll go We'll go back around. We'll go back around the horn again. <laughs> yeah. Um well, I, I just said, I mean, it, it, obviously we started becoming, well, we started we started working for the right customers. That was for one. We weren't wasting our time anymore going out to the wrong customers because um, yeah. there's only a certain, so, you know, no more estimates or dis, um Remodels and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. we were able to charge our honest hourly rate to the right people. So we were targeting our right audience. But um, I was, I was, we were, I was programming my, it worked perfectly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I was just trying to keep yeah. my comment. Like I, I, like I had to practice myself to get myself used to. Like, like I didn't just start presenting my that that first. Like I didn't just. <laughs> yes, Craig. <laughs> you did. It's, it's working for you. Well, I didn't immediately yes. go from one hundred and twenty dollars to to three hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. like that to snap in my head. It just took mm -hmm. a couple of seconds to to try and give myself the confidence to mm -hmm. to remember to remind myself to practice doing it to to right give mm -hmm. myself full responses to customers when when 
Mm-hmm. But when you started charging, you know, three, what, three, whatever, uh, how did your customers react to that? Oh, they still wanted the same service. They, they, they said, yes, mm-hmm. they took the, they, they still wanted the service. We were, we were bringing back their day. We were guaranteeing them that we could do it. Now we provided them the value that they were, that they wanted. The, the value was now as fast as possible get their day back mm-hmm. so you didn't have every customer yes, didn't say no. showing you the door with a gun in your face <laughs> they no it wasn't right. like there was a reason why we were doing it and we showed them the value of why because i was i understood the value of why if, if th- this was the only number for for our family and for the business right so once you have that confidence once you go through the calculator and you know exactly what your expenses are the numbers don't lie the number it's it is yeah, what right. it is right exactly. uh, what about you lance uh, you know, it's funny because I realized that the customers that actually knew my value didn't mind paying the higher price. Mm. So they they showed themselves to be more of a, a permanent customer base, whereas the ones that were upset, well, I mean, they're going to be upset even if you charged them $5. Exactly. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. they're, they're not your customer. And right. I mean, it, t- it took a little bit to, to figure that out to to see who was the customer, who wasn't the customer. And now I get pushback still on it. And we're like, if you don't like the price, go somewhere else, you know, Not your customer. We're, we're, this is, this is our price and we have to charge it. And right. we right. know that that's the numbers. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and, like- you, and it's providing the value too. I mean, again, these, all, these guys all have great yeah. brands, right? Nice looking trucks. You don't have some beater trucks that are showing up in what we call Mrs. Jones's driveway, right? Right. Uniformed booties or, Shoe covers. Shoe covers, right. Great employees, yeah. all those things, right? And that's the value, and you show up today. Mm-hmm. So. Right. Yeah, so part of this, exactly. yeah, we just can't charge. Well, first of all, no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber. Has anyone uh-huh. heard that saying before? <laughs> no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber, and no one wants to spend any money with a plumber. Mm-hmm. So whoever said, like Craig said, you could, you could be, or Lance, it could be five bucks mm-hmm. or whatever. And it's yeah. five bucks. That's highway robbery. You know, I don't make five bucks. <laughs> Well, that's because you've taken unemployment. You know, was, but, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Facebook. But, you can't catch us live on our website right, right. now once we get ripped off Facebook. Okay, so. right. <laughs> but so no one wants to spend any money with plumbing. Okay, so there's always going to be some pushback. The, the whole experience is pushback because no one wants to spend money with a plumber. Mm. So you're still going to get those. And so, you know, you'll find in that experience, you'll still have what we've seen time and time again, you get the same amount of pushback. And so you might as well be making money. So, so Lance, how how does your bank account, how'd your bank account look, start looking after you started charging your, your honest hourly rate? Yeah. How'd life change? Well, I'll tell you what, my wife is much happier. (laughs) (laughs) And we all know, happy wife. And that's hard to please. (laughs) That's hard to please. (laughs) (laughs) Happy wife, happy wife. Yes. You know, um, it's it's made me a uh, better father, better employer, uh, better community member. I'm able to serve my community better. Mm. Um, I've been, I'm able to serve my customers better because I can get better equipment for them. Um, it's made life a lot better, mm. a lot. Yep. yep. Money doesn't make you happy, but it's a tool. It's, but when you can pay tool. the bills, right? Yep. The sure does get rid of some stress. Right. Remove some stress. Yeah. And you're able to do mm-hmm. things for the family and your community. Mm-hmm. And not to mention, give good benefits to your employees so that you can attract, you know, even more employees and mm-hmm. get better equipment. Mm-hmm. You know, that comes from charging what you need to charge. Right. What about you, Matt? What, what was your experience when you went started charging your honest hourly rate? Nothing changed. The same, you know, the same five, 10 percent, they're going to push you back. And uh, I just want to say hi to Anthony. I saw that his little comment popped up here. I had a great conversation with him about charging what we need to charge because his company that he works for charges a little less. And he had pushback on cleaning a drain. I don't know if it was like two, three hundred dollars. And we're cleaning the same drain for seven hundred, eight hundred dollars with the same equipment. And you're going to get the same five, 10 percent. They're just going to push back because, as Lance said, it doesn't matter what you charge them. They're not happy. It's because they didn't want to pay a plumber. It wasn't in their budget. But the 90% of the customers that get you that same day, and you're going to provide that awesome service, that five-star service, they are going to love you. One of the best things I ever did was I went on the internet, and I just started searching reviews of all the local plumbing companies in my area. And it was shocking to me because all the mom and pop places had 4.2, 4.4, 4.5 stars. And all those big shots, 
shops had the 4.9 stars and the 4.8. And I thought, but they're charging three, four times what we are Mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter. That's the reality. It doesn't matter. So you might as well charge what you need to charge so that you can live your life Mm -hmm. and, and have your company, right? Create a business that works for you instead of you always working for your business. (laughs) <laughs> we just, <laughs> it's like he's been through the academy or like something. we have masters here that actually know what right? <laughs> exactly the master series uh, you've got a great story too again i think we alluded to it before yeah. the show started um you started your business just over a year ago really officially yeah. right july last year oh, yeah. right yeah that's yeah. when we started going into, into service and mm-hmm. we started hiring I, I hired my first employee in Who's july with you? of last year Mm-hmm. Uh, not that one. <laughs> oh, that's right. But um, I was thinking. Yep, my second yeah. employee is, mm-hmm. and it's, you know. But mm-hmm. and there's transitions there, and that's something you'll learn as you grow your company. Mm-hmm. Is that you're going to have guys who are stellar for a while, and then as you kind of create systems and things like that, those some of those guys they like kind of to do whatever, and they don't like to wear the booties, and they don't like the uniforms, and They're you're gonna you know, start getting uniforms, and, and you'll pass them along, and that's fine, and that's it. You don't need to burn bridges when you do that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a change, it's just business, it's just, you know, you're, you wanna create the best team, mm-hmm. um, and that's what it's all about, right? Mm-hmm. And that's, I'm, I'm always talking to my guys, I, I say, we're the best, we're gonna attract the best, we're gonna be the best, and that's why we charge what we charge, um, because we give that that stellar service. And having that vision, that focus, that's what's going to attract people to you. It, it, it's having a, a laser focus and, and the HHR, you need to believe in it because if you believe in it, your guys will also believe in it because they see they see what's coming. Because it's, it's really the guys who are on the front line, they're the ones who are charging that to the customer. You know, a lot of times, uh, eventually, you know, you're going to get to this point where you're sitting behind a computer. And, and you're working or you're, you're calling on the phone, you're not on the front line. So you have to have people who actually believe in your vision. That's good, Matt. Good mm-hmm. stuff there. Mm-hmm. All right. Like hey, that. nuggets of gold. Hey, I hope you're listening here. Yes. I mean, these guys are in, in the ring, in okay, it. just like you, mm-hmm. all right, and getting it done. And they're from all parts of the country. Mm-hmm. So there's no excuse. Yep. There, there's no excuses here. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, we'll be right back with our, our masters here. In, yes, in ju- and Shelby, I see that comment that came up. We're going to bring it up after this short break. Okay. And also, for everybody else that's watching, if you guys have questions for these masters, go ahead and, and type them in the comments, and we'll, we'll put them on the spot. Right. These guys are the real deal. All right. Mm-hmm. They're in the ring. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, we'll be right back with you guys here in just a moment. All Sorry. right. But for you that are, that are watching or, or re-watching or listening here, I got something for you, as always here. Okay, it's my million dollar plumber blueprint, all right? And I lay out the specs that you need to build a million dollar plumbing business and also have a life. These guys have alluded to that. Have to a that, life too. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, and one of the specs is, and we're talking about it here in this episode, you know, you're having your honest hourly rate. It's all in there for you, all right? And it's free, all right? Simply type free in the comments mm-hmm. or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy of the million dollar plumber blueprint mm-hmm. all right do and it I'll just show right up into your email you have throw your email address in there and i'll bada boom bada bing okay just like that. hey if you're wanting to have a million dollar plumbing business mm-hmm. all right and a life okay because that's you know we, we talk about that these guys have alluded to that they have a life okay you have a life you're able to do you know it isn't about the, the plumbing and the plumbing yeah. business but it's having a life too. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Okay. So let's get back. Let's get back to our masters here. Let's bring we'll get back. to the question here. So we get back. We got Craig Falks. Fal- All right. Hey. Hey. Owner. <laughs> All right. CEO. He's a CEO of Craig Falks Plumbing, Rochester, New York. Mm-hmm. All right. Mr. Lance Ball, owner, CEO of Aspen Mountain Plumbing out of Rock Springs, Rock Springs Wyoming. Always get Rock Springs, Wyoming. Mm-hmm. And then finally, we have Mr. Matt Delnay. Owner, CEO of Mountaineer Plumbing out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. All right. Again, good stuff here, guys. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing. So, Shelby, throw that comment back up, please, if you don't mind. Shelby, our producer. Everybody say hi to Shelby. Um, let's see. Plumbing Explained says, I'm a f- I'm flat rate, but I try and basically estimate um, I want to profit $95 an hour. Is that still wrong? You guys want to jump all over him? Who wants that one? <laughs> jump all over your brother, guys. Mm-hmm. Who wants it? Will $95 buy you a new truck? Mm. That's how you got to look at it. Mm-hmm. Will it grow your business? Yeah. What, what say, say you, Matt? 
No, I think Lance nailed it right on the head. I mean, yeah. what like just you 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 that that that's the whole point of that honestly hourly rate is it's not just the 95 an hour you want profit it's what you're doing with that 95 dollars how are you gonna you, you might want 185 dollars because yeah you gotta get a truck you gotta get an ipad you gotta get a software system you, there, there's you so much more equipment. right oh broken yeah. camera someone loses a camera there's twelve thousand dollars right. you know <laughs> <laughs> haven't experienced that lately <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, Johnny says implemented our honest hourly rate right away after module one and never looked back. It has increased our business success tenfold already. Oh, I love hearing that. All right, Johnny. Way it to go. Happy. Yes. And way to do it. It's true. I mean, it it's a it is a, a scary thing to do. Mm-hmm. But that whole money issue is a big is a big deal. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we feel um, Well, because we've never been trained. Right. There's we've never been, been trained, trained how to figure it out. Right. Also, we kind of get in this in the academy, and we're not really touch. But you know, I don't know if we can touch base on it here. But the whole idea we've been conditioned to think a certain way. We come from working class, mm-hmm. blue collar roots, and so you know, we um, just don't know. We don't know what it right. takes to to come up with what we should be charging. Right. So, um, Amanda has a question: How do you handle downtime when you're just starting? So, Amanda, I guess clarifying question: um, Downtime as far as. Um, there's just not any work, and I don't know how many are in their plumbing business. Right, so, so. That, that, that's an issue there. But when we mm-hmm. figure out our honest hourly rate, what we what we wind up uh, determining or we learn is really what we're doing is we're selling time. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? I mean, we got to get past the thing that we're selling plumbing. We, oh, I, I know. So that her yeah, downtime yeah, question, mm-hmm. yep. in your honest hourly rate, you mm-hmm. figure in the downtime. Mm-hmm. You calculate that there's going to be downtime during the day, and that's factored into that hour. So you can base so, yourself and your men on, on other people for a 40 hour week right yep. so we make it up mm-hmm. on the jobs that the jobs you know the customers that we are working for are paying for all of our time and so there is um is it amanda who's um mm-hmm. sorry so. mm-hmm. that there is in, in the honest hourly rate calculator where we determine how many hours and craig you alluded to this to so figure out how many hours you really had to sell you know, and then we don't say that we're going to sell all of them because it really doesn't work out that way. Mm-hmm. Um, in reality, well, I always took the, um, you know, the conservative side of that we sold 70 percent of our hours, you know, and so we figure our hourly rate based based on that. Now, as we get better marketing and we get, um, you know, better, our systems get better and that kind of thing, we do sell more hours. Certainly. Well, that's what that winds up down at the bottom line. So we don't lower our hourly rate to go, you Ooh. know you know to Never. That, that way but mm-hmm. but we base it starting out you know mm-hmm. based on not selling all of our hours yes so i mean i don't know if you're in the academy but if you're not you need the calculator because that will answer that question yes so. definitely mm-hmm. def def definitely mm-hmm. all right guys so we kind of, you're kind of sharing your experience mm-hmm. you know i touched on it i want to kind of um as, as we're getting close to you know wrapping things up or whatever i, I want to um you know finish up with uh, kind of where lance had kind of we kind of brought up how has charging what you need to charge changed your your business and your life mm-hmm. you know from from where you were mm-hmm. to where you are now right because we talk about it's not just about the money it's not just about the business it's about having a life too that's something right. that that we're passionate about and that we really um, emphasize is that it's it's not 24 7 business 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 you, it, this is your life and so live your life how do you how do you what do you want to do with your life? How do you want to spend your time? Right. right. So, guys, let's hear it. Craig, we'll start with you first. All we'll right. throw you under the bus first. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. hundred percent strengthened our family and marriage life together because um, being able to work less and, and, and run the business more without physically doing it and charging what we actually need to charge. And you and uh, your wife, Elizabeth, the, is, is is in the business. Elizabeth and Craig are the owners, and so Elizabeth's full time in the business. So you guys get to be get get to be together all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, we're able to work together on the business together, do mm-hmm. this together, and and the other thing is, I mean, yeah, uh, just helping so many more people. The people we've hired mm-hmm. have been able to buy houses, mm-hmm. buy new cars, mm-hmm. like new cars, new mm-hmm. houses. Um, the, the people in the community that we've helped. Um, like, you know, there's like a house burnt down and just like about two two weeks ago and we, we, we stepped up. I mean, we helped out as much as we could with, um, well, just some community offerings. Uh, mm. 
Oh, that's awesome. Uh, sports yep. things, mm-hmm. just nice little things that, that we could do in our community with mm-hmm. support. Nice. Right. And it makes a difference. And making money, mm-hmm. charging what you need to charge, leaving a, making a profit enables you to do those kinds of things, right? Exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. What about you, Lance? Oh, I'm a big outdoors guy, so it's given me a lot more time to get outdoors. <laughs> um, I took basically last September off and went bow hunting almost every day. And I didn't really have to worry about the company. I knew that as long as my guys were bringing in that, that money and bringing in that HVI, mm-hmm. we were going to be okay. So my family life's gotten better. My personal life's gotten better. Mm-hmm. Um, we've mm-hmm. went from being basically the low guy on the totem pole here in, in the uh, Rock Springs area to being the big guy on the in on totem pole. You know, we just, uh, we just brought on our fifth truck, which is huge for this area. So, um, yeah, I mean, we went from bottom to top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you just got a new shop, right? A beautiful just got a new shop. shop. Big grand opening, yep. right? Yep. Huge um, grand opening. Yes. And for any, I mean, again, guys, make sure um, everybody watching after the show's over, go check out some of these guys' brands between um, Craig Falks and, and Craig Falks Plumbing, Aspen Mountain, and Mountaineer. These guys are really killing it when it comes to branding. Um, and Lance, Lance's um, Aspen Mountain's always been one of our favorites because your brand really speaks to your community. Your community. I mean, 100 yeah. percent. And your trucks are just amazing. And yeah, he went from the little guy to now it's it's an Aspen Mountain. And I like world. what I like about Lance and, and with you guys as well. I mean, what what's your hourly rate now? I think we're at 240, 254, 254. 254. And this is a mm-hmm. small, you know, Rock Springs is a small, small market, commu- small market. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, so I want, I want those that are you know watching this, mm-hmm. who are thinking, well, that I just can't charge that yeah, I'm, my in, area, in my area. My area. Mm-hmm. Rock sure Springs <laughs> is a small market, <laughs> and it goes to show you that all customer you know customers will pay for value mm-hmm. for the experience, right? For plumbing being repaired today. Today. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know Lance, you you you'd offer up if you can do it. Anyone can do it mm-hmm. um, if you're willing Absolutely. to do it. I mean, I think that's you got to be willing to do it. You got to fight the fight. Right. And Lance and Kelly, they are a plumbing power couple too. Absolutely. And and they my favorite ball. Yep. And they've they have fought the fight, <laughs> mm-hmm. and are winning. Mm-hmm. So cool, man. Mm-hmm. What about you, Matt? Man, where to start, Richard? Where to start? <laughs> start at the beginning. Huge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I was able to buy this thing and that thing, and I, I did this other trip here and there, and <laughs> um, you know. But uh, it, it's nice when you can go home and you don't have to fight with your wife about finances. Mm. That's yeah. really, really nice. Mm. When you can go home and you can dream with your wife, like when you were dating, and money didn't matter. You had no concept of money when you were dating. <laughs> Right. But I mean, my, my wife and I, we start, we want to travel the whole world. Well, guess what? We could mm-hmm. because we got our hourly rate right. Mm-hmm. And that that there's so much power in that. And especially like what Craig Craig said about investing in your community. Uh, we're sponsoring a, a air balloon show in our community. That's right. uh, we're the title sponsor. So we want to throw a lot of money at that. We, we wrapped a couple buses because we want to make our city look cool mm-hmm. um, hold on hold on it's just, it, you rat okay yeah let's, guys let's just keep this in mind <laughs> it is what you oh, said no. too fast right? <laughs> I know. Sorry. he's been in business for imagine. just over a year just a year so this is what i have a, this is where <laughs> the guys that I, I talk with a lot of guys <laughs> and i hear i hear the comments too on mm-hmm. stuff that guys will throw out that don't have the courage to, to talk mm-hmm. in this environment and bring it but they'll throw out a comment like that's stupid or we can't do this mm-hmm. here's a guy <laughs> who started about a year ago <laughs> And if you hear this story, I don't want to tell because I don't want to make it embarrass them. But mm-hmm. I, they would say, you know, we were less than nothing, <laughs> didn't really have any money. Mm-hmm. The same kind of thing. Slightly Whoever clueless. said who was right above homeless? I think Lance even said they were right <laughs> above homeless. Okay, <laughs> a year later, and less than a year later, because they got right, you know, charging their honest hourly rate and doing some, doing some other things, just doing it. Mm-hmm. They're they're wrapping buses. Mm-hmm. City buses. <laughs> City buses. You guys, okay, after, again, after the show's over, go, go um, do a Google search, Mountaineer Plumbing, Grand Rapids, right? Um, yep. Bus or something, images, and you'll see these amazing buses that Kick Charge, Dan Antonelli designed. It was his first bus design, right, Matt? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to so, give him his first air balloon design here soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, for, uh, uh, for Alex, Alex uh, anytime. 
anybody on this can reach out to any of us and we would love to help yeah. you. I would, I love, I mean, because we've been given so much from Richard, I know that we would love to give back because it's all about giving back to the trades. It's about picking up the standard and we're in this, we're not, it's not like we, we get so uh, competitive focused mm. that we forget it's more of a cooperation. I just met with a bunch of business uh, owners in this area for plumbing on golf Audi. And I was just talking to them about that. Like, I don't, if you want this specific job or you need this, like, let's cooperate. Why, why do we have to fight? Why do we have to uh, pull each other down? There's no reason for it. It's silly. We're making life hard on ourselves because of our attitude towards each other. It's like, there, there's just no reason for it. It's Amen. silliness. Build the trade up. Yep. Right. And that's what yeah. this is all about. Thank mm -hmm. you for saying that. We're about mm -hmm. building the trade up. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and having a life, too. Mm -hmm. OK, there's no reason. You know, it's all right, guys, to provide a great service, to learn how to provide a great service, good value and giving the customer what they really want and looking good doing it all at the same time right. and making mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. for your family. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's all right that, that, you're, that your family has security that way. And that enables you to, to also to support the things you care about in your community. Right. Yes, Matt. Can I, can I answer this comment? Yeah, yes. You know, I, uh, business is only six months old. I just figured starting low would be the best way to grow and gain word of mouth. Don't. No. Don't. Because you're going to grow the wrong customer. You don't want that base. Uh, you, there's this law of attraction. And if you're going to be low, you're going to get those low customers. And if you're going to be yep. wealthy-minded or, or, or rich-minded, you're going to attract that. So there's a law of attraction. So just start off now on the right foot, just like I did. Start on the right foot and build the right customer base, and you're gonna skyrocket so yes. quick because you're not gonna have that base that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take great. What's, What's that, Craig? It, and it's a real thing. People will want to help you. Mm -hmm. The the people yes. that mm -hmm. you that you will start to attract are good people mm -hmm. that value service, value their time, value your work and your growth ethic, and, and, and the fact that you're trying so hard. Mm -hmm. And they will they will recommend you to other people that are like them. Mm -hmm. That's what Matt said, but it. That's what they'll do. They will want to help you. They would just be more than happy to help you gain <laughs> the, the, what you need, what Matt said, to be successful. Yep. Nice. Life um, supports life. So Ooh, that's what plumbing, plumbing explained. This is my wife and I are plumbing power couple. <gasps> PPCs. All right. You know we and yes, PPCs. they mentioned something about the academy, guys. It may sound self-serving, but yes, you need to be in the academy. And there's a 14-day free trial, mm -hmm. um, and we go over your honest hourly rate, the calculators in that 14 free day that in trial. In the very first. In the yeah. very first module. The very first module. So you can get in and just get that. Was, that's my gift to you. Mm -hmm. Or you can stay through it because all the other things need to work with it as well. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but I kind of hook you. So I, that is a kind of a sale. I do hook you um, with that. We hook these guys. But, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> right. And, and so you do need um, – you know, you need to, part of it is what we learn here, and it leads to the right customer. You know, you need the right customer. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, not all plumbing customers are your customer that you can grow with. We're going to have a master series on that in a couple of weeks. Yep, we're going to have a master on that. The mm -hmm. the right customer. Mm -hmm. You need the, the right people. Okay. All right. And the right process. And then the right processes in place. You put we're those things. About that too. Yes, you put awesome. those things in place. It's a slam dunk, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a slam dunk, and these guys all alluded to that. I mean, I mean, they, they, they've done that. Just just that. The right people. All right, the right process. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, right. Does anybody want to answer Johnny's question? Um, Johnny. I'll take a swing question? at it. Yeah, what? hit it, Lance. So I just tell them that we're a task based company. We don't do any breakdowns, mm -hmm. and that's how we charge. Right. Uh, let me, for those listening to the podcast, um, Johnny's question is what do you say to a customer who asks to your face to break down the price you're charging them? Not many ask, but few has. And See, but that right away, well, I'll just jump on that too, right, uh, Johnny? That's alluded. That's not your right customer, mm -hmm. <laughs> or we're not with the right customer, mm -hmm. right there. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, we live in a flat rate price world. Okay, if you go to Walmart, will they break down the price of that you know can mm -hmm. of pickles that you're buying, mm -hmm. or the TV? Do they pickles. break down. You know, do they break it down? You, there's no place you don't break down. You know, we we live in a flat rate price world. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so sorry, I was looking at the other comments. Right. Which, I like what, to tell. Yeah, them go my, ahead, Craig. I, I like to tell them my price is my promise. You know, I can do it today, and our, our work carries a one-year warranty. You're ready to start, you know, or, but without breaking it down right there. But we, we, we lean on the value. We can do it now. We're here. It carries a yep. one-year worry-free warranty. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but There's a nugget of gold there. Price promise. Price is my promise. Our price is our promise. Mm -hmm. yeah, I how love do you that. argue with that? 
All right. Yeah. What about you, Matt? I know you get pushed back and that kind of stuff too. Me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, when they want to break down, right? Yeah, when they want to break down. I have I have two things that popped in my mind. Okay. One was that's the t- when I I used to be a server at a restaurant, and I remember this lady who ate a steak. She finished. She ate the whole plate, and when she got done, she said, "I I, I didn't like that steak. I don't want to pay for it." It's like, what? Who does that? You know, and, and, and it's that kind of late. It's like, no, we don't, we don't, we don't do the time and material. You're not paying for time and material. You're paying for a product or you're paying for a service. And it's just all lump in one. And you just got to be confident when you say that. Don't never, never start to break things down or ever, because guys, I've been had with my guys. Sometimes they start, well, you know, we got to pay for our trucks or we got to do this or we got to do that. Customers not going to be happy with that. Yeah. They, they will not. So don't, don't go down that route. Just Take control of the conversation and say, this is what my service cost to have me come and give my five-star uh, value to what I'm doing. This is a great value. And, and then go from there. Don't just don't, don't, you know, get scared. I guess right. I'm trying to say. Right. And don't, yeah, you're right, Matt. Don't start saying, well, you know, we've got to pay for trucks. And we don't get pay defensive. For gas and the price of material. I don't care. Going up and. Yeah. I'm glad you put yeah. that. And, t- and take it from, here's where you can take our experience. I've done it every silly, stupid way to try to f- <laughs> explain things. None of them worked, except to say, well, well, this is our price, and we're the same kind of a thing. We're here today. I can do this for you right now. Mm-hmm. I've never been able to explain our way out. And Because what's going to happen if, they, if you do break it down for them, right? Well, I like that. You guys see what Danny, we, you know, we have a group here for those in the academy, and we're all, we're all mm-hmm. together here. There's a, and, and Danny, another one of our, you know, the, one of our brothers Monsters. here mm-hmm. with, uh, out at uh, Boston. New, New Era Plumbing. New Era Plumbing. Mm-hmm. He said he had a customer who found out, you know, he sold the job, and that that part was only like $400. You could get it for $400 on the Internet mm-hmm. or whatever. And so, you know, he wanted to argue with Danny. And Danny said, well, the, I'm, I'm giving you the part for free. I, I'm charging you for the experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting it done today. And he sold the job. The and he sold the job. Right. Yeah. I'm giving you the part for free. The right. Yeah. That's the answer. The parts are free. You, you, will, you will be shocked when you stick to your to your guns. We had a guy go to clean a drain, and the guy's like, oh, I, I only want to spend $100. And it's like, well, we like we actually believe in cleaning the drains. We can People will offer to pop the drain for a couple hundred bucks, but we believe we can clean it. And this is our jetting price. The guy ended up spending fifteen hundred bucks, just because we stuck to our guns. And I all, all of you have spoken on this, and this is what we got to pick up here. It's having confidence in what you're charging. That's mm-hmm. why in module one in the academy, we, we start right off with the foundation of of figuring out your price. Mm-hmm. What is money? You know, really what it means, what, what do you use it for? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, what's our value? And then how to figure up your value, your honest hourly rate. And we call it the honest hourly rate because you're not being honest with your customer. You're lying to your customer by just pulling a number out of anywhere. Right. Then that yeah. kind of does make your customer yeah, yeah, right. All of our numbers are a little bit different because mm-hmm. they're completely honest mm-hmm. to each one of us. Exactly. That's right. the best part about it. It's not my number isn't Matt's number and it's not Lance's number. They're all different because yeah. they're specialized to each mm-hmm. one of us so we can believe 100 percent in it exactly well said right. craig all right love that mm-hmm. well there we go hey guys <laughs> great stuff i hey and thank for, you for, for everybody out in the audience if you guys audience the potty talk live world if you guys enjoyed this there was some love like bombs something yeah. we would love to see that and we are going to continue this series yes. right um, once a month we will be doing a master series i like this guys might be back some other masters will will be a part of it but we're, right. we're excited for this because i think you guys really can speak to a lot of the guys out there I mean, a lot of the guys that put questions out alex and johnny um that are just starting out and you guys can give them the confidence that they need so and i think they did the question i asked would you be open to if they just would reach out and contact you if you would mm-hmm. be willing to, to you know give them a little time and yes that's what i, that's what I love about with these guys mm-hmm. you know being around these guys mm-hmm. you know and uh, again, give, give, I, I, give. Right, and I appreciate you guys giving back and being here tonight, taking your time mm-hmm. and, uh, and sharing your nuggets of gold. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it, guys. Yes. So for oh, you guys, we are going to go make sure you stay in the green room so you can chat after the show is over. Um, but again, everybody, thank our, our wonderful masters. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Take care, guys. Bye, See everybody. Guys. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Night, Thank guys. You. There we go. How fun was All that? All right. Hey, guys, if you... Go back and listen, re- rewatch this, and listen to what these guys are saying. Again, these are guys just like, just like you, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, a year ago, or two years ago, um, were, were Chuck's in a truck. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Trying to figure things out. And, and now, you know. Had, we're answering the phones, doing the bills, doing the paperwork, doing the plumbing, all of it. Now right? they're multi-truck, million-dollar plumbers, mm -hmm. you know, and, and living the life that they, that they truly desire. Exactly. And, and okay. all, all of them's different. Right. Right. Okay. Love that. And it starts mm -hmm. With by knowing your honest hourly rate. rate. Calculator, okay. which you can learn that by by checking out the million dollar plumber success academy we've alluded to the academy okay hey i want you i want you to check this out okay because i lay out everything you need to know to build a million dollar plumbing business all right and have a life too that's very key so we, we cover everything from honest hourly rate that's that's in in module one okay so we start out right in module one learning about your honest hourly rate okay and you can check it out for free okay 14 day free trial Simply type success in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success to check it out. But just grab it. OK, mm -hmm. just, guys, just do it. If you're truly be like serious, be like Lance, be like Matt. Right. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. If they can do it, you can do it. OK, right. but you got to do the stuff. You got to step in the ring. Mm -hmm. All right. And you, and you got to do it. OK, mm -hmm. so do it. <laughs> there we go. Great stuff. Hey, again, yeah. thanks to the guys for joining us. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, and thank you for joining us as well. Before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank Bye. you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.